There's a stream in East Hamilton that travels north-south. It can connect you to the waterfront trail off of Lake Ontario, and it has cycling infrastructure. That being said, it is probably not the best route for you to take to get to the waterfront trail, but we will be cycling it in this video. The street in question is Woodward Avenue. Let's get cycling. We begin cycling down Melvin Avenue, heading west to Woodward Avenue. In the previous episode, we scored Melvin Avenue. It received a 74, and that was mostly due to the lack of cycling infrastructure east of Woodward and west of Walter. Basically, the section that the Barton bus dips down to onto Melvin, that has cycling infrastructure. But uh, yeah, it, uh, it scored a 74. Its bonuses and penalties zeroed out. I think that's the first time that's happened for any of the routes in this series. And so you would think that Woodward would score much better because Woodward has cycling lanes from beginning to end, and it actually has less intersections by far, and so it has less conflict points, and so you would think it would score better, but that is not the case because north of Barton here, which is what we are crossing, it becomes 50 kilometers an hour, and by the way, that's about seven lanes you have to cross. <laughs> I know it seems like nothing in this video. I ride an e-bike. This is one of the benefits that I really like about e-bikes. I'm not trying to advocate to get everyone to cycle using an e-bike, but you get through intersections much faster. Having to cross under your own pedal power seven lanes of traffic, that's ridiculous. It takes a while and cars get impatient. And so it could increase possibilities for collisions. But again, if cars aren't expecting cyclists to be traveling as fast as they are on an e-bike, that can increase possibilities of collisions. But that is beside the point. We are talking about Woodward Avenue and the score that it received. And that score is a 72. So north of Barton, it's 50 kilometers an hour. A little bit further on, it becomes 60 kilometers an hour. And if you don't turn onto Beach Boulevard at the end of Woodward and you accidentally go straight through that intersection onto Eastport Drive, that is an 80 kilometer an hour road. And so, yeah, definitely turn onto Beach Boulevard once you get to the end of Woodward. There's no signs that really say, like, cyclists, you have to turn. Because in reality, like, cyclists should not be cycling on anything that is 80 kilometers an hour. And yeah, there's no signs. So we need some signage. Also, having to compete with traffic that's going 50 and 60 kilometers an hour, and let's be honest, a lot of drivers go 10 kilometers over the speed limit. We don't want to compete with that. We need a dedicated uh, bike lane that has protected curb to the side of it. And hopefully that happens in the future. I did hear from someone that there is supposed to be some upgrades to Woodward. I don't know exactly what those upgrades are, but I really, really hope that it is protected barriers of some sort because that will boost the score so much. Uh, as of right now, it is losing 11 points just because it's a painted line in a 50 and a 60. If there was some sort of barrier then it wouldn't lose any points at all. But uh, yeah, here we are, 60 kilometers an hour. And it's around this point that the road I found was starting to slide my back tire. I actually thought that I had a slow leak. And it's hard to see in this video, but I am fighting my tire, my back tire, from sliding towards the curb. And in fact, around here, I stopped pedaling because it was really pushing towards it. And I was really trying to maintain a straight line. And I think it's just because it's, there's all this dirt and debris. And yeah, it's unfortunate. But I definitely think that the Red Hill Trail is probably a better way to get to the Waterfront Trail and Confederation Park. Um, of course, Woodward brings you to the Museum of Steam and Technology. It is a gorgeous building there. And yes, there's 
isolation on the Red Hill Trail, but you don't have to worry about the Nikola Tesla off-ramp coming at you and not showing any signs of slowing down for their stop sign. And there is this big section of isolation here. You have to deal with cars traveling super fast. Right now, it is not ideal. Of course, the trail is gravel, but if you were to take Brampton, you turn right down Brampton, go to the very end of it, and anything north of Brampton on the Red Hill Trail is paved. So you could take Woodward if you don't want to deal with gravel, and then the Red Hill Trail will be paved north of Brampton, so that is an option. And of course, all of this here, you just feel isolated. Like you feel like you're on a highway already, which is why cars are going by so fast. This is a 60 still, and uh, that definitely felt closer to an 80. Uh, I really need to get some sort of instruments to be able to measure people's speeds in the, uh, in the future, but uh, that is not something I can afford at the moment. But uh, yeah, at these lights, turn right. You do not want to go straight through on Eastport Drive, that is 80 kilometers an hour. Unfortunately, this tunnel here going under the QEW, there's some visibility issues, and that's not a good thing. Like, you can see it's, it's all super bright, and it gets super dark when you first go in. But yeah, this is how you get to the waterfront trail. There's no cycling infrastructure here on the Beach Boulevard. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I will be making one in the future on the Red Hill Trail option to get to the Waterfront Trail uh, because I do think it is much better. I'll do it from Melvin all the way to the Waterfront Trail just so you can see what that route is. In the previous video, I do have a link to a video from I think it's either March or April of 2021. It's not listed on my channel on YouTube, but uh, under the comments I, I posted a link. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Take care and stay safe. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters who are helping to make improvements to this channel.